we are on the way to look at a Doosan Mini Excavator. It's a uh, DX50, I think it's an R7, and uh, it's brand new, just came out. Uh, this is Doosan's line that is just made from Doosan, not Bobcat. So I'm on my way, I'm gonna check it out and possibly even buy one because uh, why not spend $75,000 on a shovel? Seems like a good idea, right? Okay, so we went and looked at the Doosan, talked about it, um, did tons and tons of reviews, tons and tons of research on the machine itself, and I ended up going and deciding to spend a lot of money on a giant shovel. So this is the Doosan DX50Z-7, and uh, it is the... 2022 model it is 47 horsepower um it is everything that i'm ever going to need for digging holes um definitely wanted to get a bucket with a thumb on it and attachment um i don't really know how to use this thing a hundred percent uh i have rented and used mini excavators before um, but this is just a little bit different and I'm about to take it home and after I take it home I'm going to take it off the trailer and I'm going to start digging holes and ripping stuff apart and figuring out exactly how to become an expert at this so we'll keep you guys informed and let you know how it is but for right now pick up this mini excavator and uh, it is 13,000 pounds and it feels so good behind the old Cummins. It's uh, it's nice to pull something and you can feel it. You can hear that exhaust, you can hear it rumbling. And uh, I'm just excited. I'm excited about this shovel. I'm excited about using it, operating it, uh, and getting a lot better at controlling it. So stay tuned guys. I'm gonna show you all sorts of stuff we're gonna do with this thing. Okay, so just so um, you guys have a little bit of an idea, Got the machine, brought it home last night. I uh, played with it for quite some time. Um, very simple, very easy to use. Um, it is extremely quiet and it has a whole heck of a lot of power for the size of the machine. And, oh, okay, now we will get into a little bit of the machine here. Um, first, we have touchscreen display, everything, um, all of your fuel gauge, your um, tack, your attachments, everything like that is all here. Joystick, joystick. Um, we got your blade handle, throttle controls, uh, ignition, heat AC. These are going to be all of your switches. We even have 12 volt and we have USB. The USB internally is connected to the Bluetooth radio, and uh, the radio works fairly well. I'm pretty impressed, but just to give you guys an idea, um, this machine is very, very quiet. What I'm going to do right now is just start it up for you. Um, as you can see, I still have all of the plastic and everything like that on here i do have to take it off but for right now it's just going to be on so it's going through its heating cycle heating cycle is over and currently this machine is running now right now uh, we're at about 1150 rpms you can see it right there so 1150 rpms and this machine is quiet in the cab i can barely hear it running i'm actually going to get out of the cab right now i'm out of the cab again if i come by the exhaust i can hear it but it's really not that loud Otherwise, I could have a full regular conversation, everything like that here, no problem. Um, I will say the bucket, um, very impressed. It is 
picked up everything that I've wanted it to. Um, even with the thumb, I picked up a gigantic rock that um, literally did not even fit in the bucket itself, but it picked it up, it got it out of a hole about four feet deep, and I didn't have any issues in it. So I was very impressed with that. But uh, everything seems fairly easy to operate on here. Um, so far, very, very impressed. I'm going to be getting in this thing probably at, in probably about 10, 15 minutes here, and I will go play with it a little bit more and just keep getting used to the controls and just kind of getting better at it so that way I, I'm a lot more comfortable to where when I do have certain things and jobs to do, I'm very familiar and I'm very, I guess... I'll have that muscle memory built up and built into everything that goes on. Now, what I'm gonna do right now, just to uh, show you guys, um, it has this auto idle feature. And right now it is currently on. I'm gonna turn it off. And as I turn it off, then I can actually adjust the idle manually. So um, right now it's always going to be at its normal regular idle once i engage um, the locking feature now the idle automatically goes up to 1750 rpm right now i am at full throttle which is going to be 2200 rpms at idle and it is still extremely quiet i i'm just saying it's it's very very quiet I don't have any issues hearing anything. I don't have any issues um, with the noise or anything like that. Um, I, I'm just, I'm very, very impressed with everything so far. So um, even operating, I don't have any issues there. Very quiet, everything is very, very smooth. Um, very impressed with the hydraulics and everything like that. Just do a little spin. Make sure I'm clearing my diesel here. And we don't clear. So back over this way. Clyde's over there watching me. But again, it is very quiet, very smooth, um, and I'm very, very impressed with this machine so far. I'm gonna try and get some videos of us digging some holes later, and I'll add those on.